Hello and welcome to the Peace Security Channel. Today I'll be doing a test on Ophira Internet Security 2013, which is their newest version. They have made some major changes in this version, including uh, the introduction of a cloud and some advanced rear day protection components. So I don't really see that reflected in the user interface because it looks very similar and I don't get any extra options for any of these components so it's really hard to say how these components work now this is the you know flagship product so you get uh, sh social networks protection safe browsing Android security and everything that you could possibly want so I still have some complaints about their interface I mean it looks alright but you know when you try to use it it seems pretty clumsy to me it takes a while to respond to the actions and sometimes like when you close it open it real quick it can just start lagging there you go you can see that lag and especially when you're doing something else this might be really slow to respond so that's a problem but I guess nobody uses this interface that much so who cares let me do one more update to show you guys that it's the latest that they've got and it is so that's the basic interface not really that much changed from the last version I mean their 2012 one if we go into their configuration go into expert mode and get all the settings but I still don't see any settings for the cloud or anything of that sort. They still have their heuristics, that is, uh, you know, advanced heuristic analysis and detection that's ahead. And macro virus heuristic, I'm sure this was not there in the last version, but I really don't see any new options for the cloud or anything, so I'm not sure how exactly they're implemented. But we'll see how good the protection is overall, and that's what really matters. Memory usage, well, Vera does not use too much RAM, but, uh, well, I mean, I'm not sure if it was using that much in the last version. It should be lighter, I guess, but who really cares? I mean, it's using about 60 megs, but, oh, that's fine. So yeah, it's quite light. It's not using 60 megs anymore. In fact, it's using a little more than maybe 15 megs. Might be less, but that's what you'd expect. Because Ophira is a pretty light product, and that's one of their strengths. Now, right now it's using under 10, so no. About 12 megs, so that's nice. So people with dinosaur age computers you can just keep your stuff you don't have to buy a new core i3 or something just if you're stuck with a Celeron you're okay you can still use a Fiora so this is the first link and it did get caught by these signatures If you are, I do have really good signatures both for their web antivirus and uh, the real-time file scanner. So I won't be surprised if it just manages a clean sheet. This seems to be taking a while, so I'll try the next one. This got caught by their URL filter, which is nice. I've got about 12 links in here, so... Plenty of stuff to try out against Afira. This got blocked as well. This one's probably dead. This thing got caught as well, so I'm denying access.
this is some kind of Trojan. And it looks like Avira didn't come up with anything for that. But it stopped working for no reason. But could have done something, I'm not sure. So Avira didn't catch that. Now this is a Trojan Rogue and it got caught. See it has the name A squared but it's obviously something else. I guess this is something to do with that Incredibar thing, so it's kind of like adware. So this is the firewall. So I'm going to allow it because it says it's recommended because this is assigned executable. However, I'm sure this is going to download some kind of adware junk, so maybe not something I would like. Okay, here you go. So much junk. Oh. And uh, it just shuts down your browser without asking for your permission. So that's not very, you know, polite behavior from this application. Should have asked me at least. Try the next file, and this gets stuck on your screen as well. You can't really, you know, get this on top of this, no matter what you do. They just want you to look at their smiling faces. But at least I can just relegate it to some bottom corner and just get rid of it. Now, there's some kind of spyware, I guess. It's probably not going to start up that easy because this thing must be chewing at my bandwidth. And Credi Mail. I'm not sure if the last file ran, but let's get to the next one. I've got one more piece of adware, so maybe we should wait for this thing to complete doing a scrap, so I guess I'll wait. Now I just wanted to say something else about this incredible mail thing. Sor sorry about that. That was from my host machine. So one more thing is that you cannot minimize it. There's no minimize button over here, and you can't cancel it. There's no cancel button. And what this big cross button does is it minimizes it. So, you know, some user who doesn't know a lot about computers, they'll just hit this cross button and think, oh, it's gone. But it's not gone. It's just running here. So this is kind of malicious behavior for me because it's deceiving the user. It says it's going to close, but it doesn't close. It just goes down here and stays there. And there is no way to close it without going into the task manager, so it is deceiving the user. So I believe this thing should be called malicious. Just my opinion, in case some people say, ah, that's not malicious, I like that. So I hope this finishes sometime soon, or I'll have to force terminate it. So let's just wait a few more minutes. Welcome back. Uh, that scum adware just finished installing and I'm not going to continue. Oh, damn. Get out of here. And now, if I open my browser, I'm greeted with an old friend, My Start by Encredimail.com. Excellent. So. Let's continue here with the next file. Let's 
try to run this thing. It's probably some kind of spyware. Tried this twice. If it still doesn't work, I'm going to have to skip it. Let's try the last three first, because I know this is another piece of adware that might take a long time to install. Looks like the download just stopped itself, so I'm going to continue with the next one. So this thing just doesn't stop, does it? Connect in credit mail to Facebook. What if I don't want to? This thing got caught by Ophira as Trojan Crypt, so it got rid of that. Oh no. It's just so much garbage that's happening right now thanks to this in credit mail. I believe it should be blocked. Should have been, that is. It did not get blocked by Ophira, but sure, they'll put a signature for it whenever they find out. And now this is one problem that I have when it detects a threat in the system. It just, Ophira just starts to scan your entire system. I should ask you at least that if you want to do a scan or not, because and if I like, I open up three files, then it's going to start three scans. But yeah, right now it's Avira is the least of my problems. This in credit mail is getting really annoying. Oh come on! So let's try the last three. This one got caught. I feel so great to look at this page. No in credit bar there, so that's something nice. I wish I could just. It's not gonna go that easy, is it? I can just hide it. I can disable it, but that doesn't fix my problems. My main problem is this thing that that never really quits. If I hit this cross button, which I'm sure you've seen me hit twice or thrice, it doesn't close. Now this is certainly not legitimate program behavior. Why is this cross here? This this is minimize. Okay, fine. If I hit minimize, it goes down. No problems with that. But what if I just want to close it? And it keeps asking me for dumb things. No matter how many times I tell it that I I don't want to give it those details, so that's certainly malware. So th that was the last file. Now I'm going to try this one more piece of adware junk. Now this also signed. Now, this is a good example of how, you know, just having the digital signatures doesn't make a program legitimate. Oh well. Ah, maybe I should change my homepage to Sweet Packs. Maybe it'll be something better than in Credit Bar. So, this is the last one, so I'll just wait for this crap to be installed and then I'm going to reboot from CCleaner and then I'll do a scan with Hitman Pro and I'll be right back. Well since IncrediBar didn't quite give me as much trouble as I expected and I did manage to get it you know to start running in the background so I'm going to continue with the test and we'll finally do the scans after we complete this section which will be the file scan. So I've got 286 items in here. Let's see how many Avira can detect. We all know that Avira has good signatures. Now let's find out how good they are against malware that's about two to three days old. So 
so I guess I'll pause and I'll be back when the scan's complete. So Ophira completed removing everything that it found, so let's see what it didn't find. About five items, so that's uh, a truly great detection rate. So we had 286. ninety eight point two percent now that's a really huge det I mean really good detection rate so it just almost removed everything so let's try running what's left okay so this nice for your security suspicious attempt to access the registry was blocked Please carry out a full system scan. I'm not going to do a full system scan though. Let's try running some more stuff. I mean, there's not a lot of stuff. It's just four or five items. So it looks like Avira have added some kind of zero day protection because I'd never seen these alerts before. Like blocking registry key modification so that's nice so now that's not signed so I will I'll allow because this is firewall and uh, I won't see if it can catch the threats that it tries to download so there was something there and now it's again going to try to scan my system Oh, come on. So this thing didn't really let me not allow it. So it looks like something else has been cut here. So something's trying to access a recycle bin that's not good so uh, there you go this is the problem that I was talking about now we've got two scanners running so I'll have to stop one of these and I have no way of knowing which ones the correct one the one that I won't stop can't really stop it if I try to stop it it stops responding Okay, so I did stop one of these. Now I guess I'll wait for this thing to complete and then I'll reboot and do a scan with Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro. Welcome back everybody, Malwarebytes finished scanning and looks like it's found nothing other than a few registry keys. Here's the Trojan Agent, Backdoor Bot, and these are all, you know, startup items from the registry I guess. Yep. Apart from that, it's just one file, and that's in, uh, you know, Recycler, so that's no big deal. And uh, Hitman Pro pretty much says the same thing. It's got a ton of things that are part of this toolbar installed by that Incredibar garbage. Apart from that, just Recycle Bin stuff. So Avira actually did very well. Now I cancel this because it's uh, an Avira antivirus desktop and uh, it's temporary web guard file. So that's why I cancel it so don't run over saying, hey, you canceled the upload. That was a malware. You're cheating. I'm not cheating. So, oh well. Avira seems to have done really well. I mean, it's impressed me because uh, it always had really good signatures and now they've taken a smart move and they've complemented that with some decent zero day protection and we did see some things like registry key changes being blocked and uh, stuff like that which I've never seen before 
I only wish that they would make these things more user accessible and uh, customizable so that you know you can change it and do play with it but protection was it did very well I mean when you combine so good signatures with some zero-day protection it's really great and always the problem I've had with the Vera is that if you use a Vera you need to get some other firewall like Komodo firewall or private firewall I guess you don't need that anymore because comes along with some decent zero-day protection. 